Hey guys, hey guys. You know, um, I use the app for walking. It's called Sweatcoin. And I track all my steps. And, I, you know, I, do, I, walk, I log it since the beginning of the year. And last year, I, w I walked over three, I think three million, three hundred something thousand steps. I forgot. I did put it in my video. I have to look. I meant to look that up. But as of um, as of yesterday, I've done 2,763,457 steps currently for the year. It's at 55%. I made a personal goal of 55 million, but I think I overshot my goal because last I should have just made it four. But when you calculate it, it's roughly about 2,500 steps in a mile. So you see, I, I my walking steps. My walking miles is separate from my total steps for the day. Right now, it's around 1,105 miles, according to my steps. But you know, the worst part is I need to super glue my <laughs> phone to me because I miss a lot of steps. Um, today, I've been in back and forth taking Panda out, no phone on me. I just took out the garbage. I threw away a, a coffee maker that's broke. So it's probably roughly a few hundred steps there, but what can I do, right? But um, as you see the screenshot, they did a challenge and you can be in a drawing to, to win AirPods. So two lucky people are gonna wear Air, win AirPods. So for August, it was 250,000 steps for the challenge. I crushed it at two, what are you doing girl? I crushed it at 299,000. 762 steps and that's a lot of I'm missing a lot of steps so I wish I had a way where I can keep my phone on many times because sometimes I I do videos I have to keep it on charge and I, I'm too busy doing things in between videos so um yeah and the other one the other challenge that I join others to do is the two billion steps to save Africa's elephants I'm a big elephant lover I'm from Asia we have um Asian elephants there as well um, when I go back to Thailand to visit, I am going to a sanctuary and I'm going to pet and I'm going to ride an elephant. There are, I think the reserve that I can go to allows you to do that. So, so far for that, for, to say the African elephants is I have up to 102,638 steps, which is not bad. So I, I, I love this app because you could do that. And I've earned over 7,000 coins. You could put it towards um, mer merchandise that's in their marketplace. I haven't, I use my steps actually because you do pay a membership. And I think I got the highest one, it was just 30, 30 coins a month. So I'll walk way beyond to pay that every month. So I never miss those 30 coins. So I'm like, uh, like I said, over 7,000 coins. So, but yeah, I just want to update you on that. Uh, like I said, my step count update as of yesterday is 2,763,457 steps. On, and the other, the other ladies who are on a weight loss journey don't even track anything. So, Evelyn Reed said in her video last night that she did 30 laps and her living room is not that big. And she was proud because she was like doing only 10 and now she's up to 35 laps but her apartment is not that big honestly and that's really sad that she's in that sad sad of shape at age of 30. here i'm working i'm walking millions of steps already on our a few thousand maybe so yeah walking is healthy and i literally am not weighing myself anymore I could feel the inches burn off. I feel like when you are step on the scale, it's just stressful. And for me, seeing inches gone is so much better than worrying about what's the number gonna be today? What's the number gonna be next week? To me, that's mentally really not helping me. And I used to weigh myself every I don't even weigh myself at all anymore. I don't even remember the last time I weighed myself. I know in the, this weight loss challenge that I did, I'm doing with um, Tina Marie Italian Ice, who's the biggest sweetheart that I met on YouTube. 
as far as another YouTuber. She's so sweet. And I told her, I, she, she, I commented on her. I, I'm really doing horrible this month, especially just recently. My grandkids left and I did not even get to say goodbye. Um, just dealing with some so stressful situations. I know some of you guys have probably watched uh, some of my walk videos. There's been a lot of stressful things going on here. And I'm on a mission to get my own place. I'm on a mission just to be a better person. I'm on, a, on a, in a place where I'm going to have my glow body. I want it by December 31st. Um, I'm working at it. I'm really working hard. So, and I'm... I know I'm not measure. I don't measure myself, but as of August first, when I met, when I told you guys I lost what 11 inches total. I didn't tell you guys I lost a total of 20 and a half inches for the year, 20 and a half inches. So I'm burning off fit the the fat size. Um, I do have this. Yeah, this is disgusting, horrible. But I'm gonna start doing the bicep dips on my uh, on our weight, the workbench out here, the weight bench out here. So, but yeah. I'm working hard at it. I don't give up every day. I walk every single day. I do not have a break. You see how, how many days is like, what, 282 days, which is over 40 weeks. 40 weeks of straight walking, not miss a day. Walked in the snow, the ice. I mean, I was ice skating literally home, back home from when I was at the uh, development behind me. When it's raining, I'm out and it's torrential downpour. I will, you know, walk in any type of weather. I, I'm persevering through this because the more you, the more you keep at it, consistency does pay. So I'm telling you guys, don't give up on yourself. I haven't given up on myself. And I'm usually would have gave myself up a long time ago. Um, I almost did at the beginning of my um, YouTube channel. I was like, because my weight goes up and that fluctuates. Because you build, when you, can, you when you walk, especially when I walk up the inclines, I you build muscle. Muscle weighs more than fat. So you just, that's why you need to get away from the scale. Get away from the scale. Measure yourself month to month you'll see progress. So that's why I'm not, no more waiting for me. I'm doing an inch loss every month. So, and I'm coming up for one next week, I think. Isn't that 31st next week? Yeah, next week. So um, I'm, I'm, I am I'm just missed up about 20 and a half inches in the whole, what, eight months this year? That's not bad. That's not really bad. And that, that mindset, my mindset, seeing inches off is so much better than stepping on, because like I said, your body, fluctuates and that is the worst thing to do is to weigh yourself so now if you don't weigh yourself at all and don't do inches and you want to sit here and say yeah I love, like foodie booty and, and Emily Marie is good for this now then you have not seen them weigh in but they'll sit there and say yeah I lost weight yeah I'm at such and such weight okay you can say that you lost you that you weigh that certain weight but you know when you're known to be a big big fat liar it doesn't help but I've shown you guys like before and after pit shots of um the one when I was at 295, the one after and I, I put it on again. It, it really feels good when you see a difference. And my stomach is like where all my weight is, to be honest. And when I when I suck in my stomach, I like like and my butt is really not a bad area. Um I've always been thick in my th in my thighs and my booty area. My chest I was never big at, and I've still got weight there too. So it's going though. It's really going. So everybody stick with it consistency pays off at the end and i'm not giving up myself so i'm not giving up on you don't give up on yourself and i just want to update you on my inches and my steps and the um challenges i was doing with my sweat coin if you want to know um what the app is i will send you i'll put the link on there if you if you ask for it um so yes i i hope you guys and keep supporting me because you know without your support you guys are one of my big are my biggest uh supporters and you guys do keep me going every day and i really appreciate you guys so you guys have an amazing day and i love you and be safe out there